Keith, it's Jacqueline over at Steamboat Motors. I am gonna do this quick video walk around before it gets dark out here for you on our 2016 Benz. Um, it is in fantastic condition. I do apologize with the snow, um, the upkeep on um, the mud dirt situation is very low, um, but it is in great condition. I do not see any major damages. I just wanna go over um, overall condition um, and options that it offers, okay? Um, so first things first, it has great tires on it. Um, we do have that chrome accent. I did notice in the back here, it's missing the C on the formatic. Um, not a big deal, but I did wanna release that. Um, it is in great condition, like I said. You got all that chrome on your wheels, um, door handles, mirrors, and um, the crossbars on the top. We'll go ahead and get in the back here. Um, you did talk about having doggos. Um, so there is plenty of room for those guys in this hatchback. Um, it's in great condition back here, um, very clean. There is a spot back here for the batteries and some uh, storage. I'm gonna go ahead and fold those seats down so you can see how that looks. And then this guy here um, actually comes out as you probably know. All right. Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you how excited I am about the mats. Um, I really want them in my BMW. Um, so we'll just go ahead and push that down. It does fold 60-40, um, but they fold flat. Okay, so that'll save your seats from the dogs. They'll fit in just fine. Um, it does have fantastic interior. Um, yeah, if you take that out, um, let's just go ahead and fold that down for you. While I'm standing here, I might as well not half-ass it. So here we go. Boom. And you're gonna have to imagine me taking that out because I don't wanna ruin it. Um, but there's plenty of room for the dogs. Hatchback is the way to go with the doggos. Um, so they'll fit in there and then it does have a little baby sunroof which I don't have opened. Um, I apologize. Okay, let's get out of the snow. Beautiful amount of room. Um, the back seats I don't think were ever even sat in. Okay. And then the floor mounts are amazing. All right, oh, look at the beautiful sunset. Love Steamboat. All righty. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one down and not break a nail because that'll suck. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get in the front. I apologize. Um, in the front seat is gonna be where all the magic happens. You are gonna notice there's bedazzle. That can be removed unless you love it. We can totally remove it. Anyways. Um, seats are um, controlled on the door, which you know because you know about bins. Um, so those will be controlled on the door as well as all of your buttons. There is a little bit of wear and tear on those buttons. Um, easy fix with like covers. We'll go ahead and get in, thank goodness, because it is freezing. Okay, so fuel is low. Okay, sorry for the low fuel, friends. Um, automatic lights, love that. Um, everything is very accessible. I'm so sorry this is so blingy. I personally love it, but you might not like that. Okay, um, on the left-hand side of the steering wheel is all of your menu display options for the upper display. Okay, and then you have windshield wipers on the back side of that. Um, there is slap shift, um, so you have your minus and plus for your paddle shifters there um, with your answer hang up and voice controls on the right hand side of the steering wheel okay um <clears throat> it does have your cool toggle guy for the upper display so if we go back it's going to show us that we have navigation radio media and telephone so you do do have the um, bluetooth radio okay then all of your manual buttons are in the uh lower display let's see if i can turn on all of the lights there we go um so everything is accessed down here um, my big hit is going to be your heated seats um you have dy dynamic select which is going to be all of your um sport modes comfort um off-road um things like that which will show in both displays as there okay um there is heated seats on both sides you have an automatic on off all of your volume controls and skip and seek are there um, as well as your easy 
access into your navigation, radio station, so on. All of your climate controls are down here, kind of tucked away. It is a dual climate, so both driver and passenger can have their own climate controls and not have to fight over it. Um, you are going to have plus and minus for your fan control as well as max and rear defrost. Um, it does have a cool old school um, ashtray and lighter. Okay, that does close as well as a nice cup holder which also closes. This is the key fob. Okay, nothing too fancy there except for you're going to notice that it has unlock, lock, and access into your trunk. Alrighty, this is that cool toggle that's going to get you into your display options there. It is a push button start. Um, I know that the key fob looks like it actually inserts, but it doesn't. Um, so that's super fancy. All right. Okay, I was having a struggle bus, which you just seen that. I apologize. Um, two USB ports in there. You know, that's really dark. I apologize. Um, cute little baby center console. There is a sunroof and all your really cool um, guys like Mini Cooper has. Okay, there we go. Cool. Okay, sorry for my darky video. I hope this finds you well. I hope we can earn your business. Please let me know what I can do and I will make it happen. We really appreciate you. Have a great and happy holiday season. Um, it's Jacqueline over at Steamboat Motors 970-778-2116 is my phone number. And look at that Ben Zimble. That's so cool. Why doesn't my Beamer do that? All right, Keith, have a good night. Talk to you later. Bye.